Hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thanks for joining us for our weekend weather update, the outlook for next week and keeping an eye on the tropics. There's quite a lot to talk about. Uh, for New Zealand's long weekend, mostly settled, but there's a low to the north, the one that you can see right here. And we've also got a cooler southerly coming up the country on Sunday. It's very short-lived though. Over in Australia, low pressure zones are tracking along the southeast. We've got a bigger low coming in for you. And up in the tropics, we've got a couple of low pressure zones. This one here though, uh, has the potential to become a tropical cyclone within the next week. So it's a little bit early. The cyclone season doesn't usually start until November 1st, but we're in that time of the year now when the tropics do start to wake up. So let's try and break it all down for you. Um, before we get into the forecast, <laughs> we had this tweet or X up this morning. Uh, for those of you who remember the 1980s and 90s jingle for the Game Connect 4. But yeah, we've got lows like that in a line. Don't see that every day. Uh, here is the top of the North Island. So uh, in here, that would tell you you make Connect 4, but we don't have a, a fourth low in that area at this stage, and it's not likely to with high pressure coming up from Australia. So rainfall-wise, with that low just to the north, most of the rain, as you can see, is offshore, about 70 millimetres or so, but brushing land, only about 5 to 15 millimetres, so not a lot. You might be seeing a lot of rain icons on the weather maps. That's because this could linger for a day, just sort of cloudy with showers for some areas. Now, our rain forecast data is very accurate, but in saying that, with setups like this, when it's very 50-50 borderline, um, you're best to check the rain radar right across Saturday and Sunday as that system tracks by, mostly Saturday. And down in the south, a few showers as well. Nothing much, just a few millimetres really coming through with a few showers. Over in Australia, the wind barbs you see here are 20 kilometres an hour or more. So if you don't see any, it is uh, light winds for most places. But you can see this low here. This is Saturday evening. Big southerly coming in, very windy around Adelaide, Kangaroo Island, and then later on, obviously uh, Tasmania, really stuck in it, getting two or three days of rain and wind and lower temperatures. Melbourne, you get a little taste of it, not quite as much. And heat-wise, well, there's a fair bit of this now. The 40-degree temperatures in red are covering Western Australia, Northern Territories, and even some parts of Queensland. So let's get into the forecast. Here we are on Saturday with this stormy low uh, driving in that windy southerly for Adelaide. Over on the New Zealand side, low pressure just offshore. Uh, there's also a southerly flow, but nowhere near as windy or as cold, in fact, for the New Zealand side of things. But we do have a couple of showers down here in the south. And yes, that is a very weak cold front just coming through there. You can see how that rain in the north is very borderline across Saturday. This is for lunchtime Saturday, New Zealand time. On Sunday, that stuff's gone. The low is out to the east, but that southerly change has moved up the eastern coastline. So Sunday will be cooler in many places around New Zealand. And with this high about to move in, means we might see a few frosts on Sunday night, Monday morning. Uh, ruralweather.co.nz has New Zealand's only frost forecaster for every part of the country. And at Weatherwatch, we've got frost maps. So you can use those two together to work things out. But look at this low over here. Plenty of rain for Hobart, or at least on the edges. In the middle of the low, not so bad. So the uh, Esk River won't be getting very much in the way of wet weather. But up here in Victoria, the wheat belt will get a bit of rain. Not a huge amount, but 5 to 15 millimetres. Let's get into next week. So high pressure over Monday, sorry, over New Zealand on Monday for the Labour weekend holiday. That low in Australia starts to move out to sea, but the southerly remains, uh, blowing through to Canberra and Sydney as well, and hot northerlies on the other side. And here is that low up here to the north. Now on Tuesday, it looks like it says 1007. That is true when you zoom out. We're going to zoom in in a moment so you can get a better look of it. Uh, but the other two features here, two lows to the south. So another burst of weather coming through uh, from Wyala to, um, to Adelaide, sorry, to Melbourne, all of those areas getting that windier change coming through. But for Tasmania, warmer northerlies coming back in again. And New Zealand's got nor'westers blowing through a cold front and a weak low right there. But let's focus on this uh, low up to the north. The high pressure zone around New Zealand keeps it up there. But when you zoom in closer, you can see that it is quite a deep system. In fact, if you zoom in even more than that, it gets down into close to 960 something. So this is definitely showing signs of being a tropical cyclone. The capital is here, Port Vila, and then further to the east, we've got Fiji. So this is a long way up from Fiji. So at this stage, it's really only uh, Vanuatu's islands to the north 
that are most at risk. And also to some degree, Honiara and the Solomons, which are just behind the Tuesday sign. Now, long range, some data shows it moving off like that and others show it moving out more towards uh, the Solomon or Coral, Coral Sea. So it's worth keeping an eye on. Like I say, we don't have a storm yet. This is more about just taking a look long range if you're interested, but clearly keep up to date with the Vanuatu Meteorological Service. Here we are on Wednesday into the New Zealand zone, our final map, high pressure to the north, that's keeping New Zealand protected from tropical storms. El Nino encourages more highs out from Aussie like that, which means even though this El Nino is a bit broken because the sea surface temperatures are warmer than they should be north of New Zealand, uh, that, that encourages more lows. But highs like this one stop a lot of those lows from dropping down. So, you know, if, if there's a gap in the highs, that changes things. But certainly seeing more high pressure around the, the Tasman Sea area should protect New Zealand a little better than it did last year with all of that rain. This year, I should say, this year. And the last thing is this cold front, next big burst of spring weather coming in. Adelaide, Melbourne, uh, right across the Bass Strait and down to Hobart. The temperatures though up here in Sydney, especially inland like Penrith, 35, 36 degrees on Wednesday and 30 degrees in Canberra and the ACT. So pretty good weather coming in for you if you like it like that, of course. But for those who need some rain, there's a little bit in the southeast. That's all from me. Back again next week. Don't forget, Monday is a New Zealand uh, holiday in New Zealand, but we may still keep you up to date with that cyclone. Just depends on what happens. Uh, but we'll be having updates on our website, weatherwatch.co.nz, and of course, on Twitter or X, weatherwatchnz. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.